So in most of cases, the patient is uh, in such a lateral position uh, with the mouth guard that, that is inserted to protect uh, the teeth and uh, he is uh, um, going to swallow. So uh, usually we insert the probe like this, uh, slightly bending, but uh, without blocking it in this position, just to slightly bend to cross the first curvature of the After pharynx. The tongue, yeah. yes. But then you should not bend it too much because it will go into the larynx. So you have to let it go backwards afterwards to slide on the posterior uh, wall of the pharynx to go uh, deeper. So, so this first movement is anti-flex and the yes. second one but is only slightly retroflex. Yes. Uh, yes, or, 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 or neutral, mm -hmm. yes. But uh, remember always to keep the same direction here. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you rotate the probe, and it will bend and it will go into the uh, wrong direction and then it will block and even bend like this and you will feel this very, uh, you know, spring-like effect here. So sh you should never uh, force it, but wait or sometimes take it out, check the position, check the angles, and, and then re-advance. Of course, it's very important to understand that if you create a loop like this during insertion, uh, look, this is very rigid shaft, right? So once you make this shaft uh, straight, look at the tip of the, of, the, of the probe. The probe is rotating because so, of the loop. Because this loop is creating this effect. So, so if you want to keep it in one direction, you, you, you should have it straight in the beginning and then you control the direction. If so you, you do, have to ask somebody to hold the probe for yes, a minute and you yes. advance the probe So for directly. example, if you would mm -hmm. like to, to try, uh, probably I would uh, keep it for you like this. I would direct it towards the tongue of the patient and then you, when you go there, you are 100% certain that you are advancing a proper uh, uh, direction. And uh, remember uh, that here the probe has uh, two manipulators uh, and uh, one of them uh, causes bend towards the anterior, the other one towards the posterior. So we call it antiflex or retroflex. So uh, you have to remember that the manipulators uh, are um, very frequently used during the examination and you have to understand what do they cause on the tip of the device. So if I rotate the bigger knob clockwise, you see that the probe is bending anteriorly. We call it antiflex, and it can be very deep flexion. If uh, I uh, turn it counterclockwise, it, uh, it makes a retroflex. Uh, the angle here is much less than during antiflex. So this is uh, important also to understand. And uh, those manipulations will be used very frequently during the examination. And this little knob uh, is uh, making flexions towards the right or towards the left. If you look at, at the probe from the back, right? So clockwise means right, counterclockwise means left. And this is a little bent. This is not that deep as antiflexion. But both of those knobs can be blocked in very flexed position with the uh, break here. So now you see the probe is really very uh, uh, hook-like and uh, if you advance this probe in the esophagus you may really cause much damage to the patient. Be always certain that when you insert the probe this break is completely free and then the probe comes back to a neutral position then you can re uh, advance the device. You never do it when the tip of this uh, is really flexed. If you move a little bit the knobs and you don't feel any resistance, you know that this is a proper moment to insert the probe. But if you have this kind of uh, resistance here, it means that the probe is blocked and you have to release it before inserting. Okay, so when you advance the probe to the patient, you cannot have this fixed. Yes. But if you pull the probe out, if you pull the probe out, you see the, the, how it is uh, shaped here. So you can put it, put the, your your hand here and uh, pull it. Yeah, yeah. So this this does not cause much damage. If I, even if it's flexed, you will not see much damage to the esophagus. But if you push, can you can you make it now? Yeah. You see this effect may be really very harmful. So remember about that. So always when you want to make sure that the probe is really free just uh, move a little bit those uh, manipulators 
and you are certain that you can now safely advance. <laughs>